Hey, this is the Mad Chemist. I put this video together to show how construction works with a new version of the engine. You can create a new vehicle or structure by first selecting any material or placeable object from your inventory and then pressing the reload button. At this point, left click will start the structure while right click will start a new vehicle. Scrolling up and down will change the height of the object and you click one more time to create it. Then you can put whatever you want on it, any materials, change the shape, put some wedges on it. You can use combinations of control and shift while left and right clicking to rotate the block on different axes. Holding shift and scrolling will change the selected shape. You can also add functional objects to vehicles and structures. These objects have scripted functions built in defined in the coding. They can perform functions like generating power and converting materials and allow you to fly. What I just placed here was a generator. This produces power which can be used by other objects. This object is a cockpit. It's the most important object on a vehicle. The type of vehicle seat you place will help define how it's driven. Each object and material has a set of physical properties that determine how much damage it takes, mass, conductivity, as well as a sort of other useful values. Vehicles have an integrity value that is calculated upon taking weapon damage. The vehicle will break apart, explode, or sink if it isn't being repaired. You can also just remove every block and object on the vehicle, and the game will automatically clean it up for you. The various objects you can place let you create a wide variety of vehicles. The content management and scripting systems allows a lot of flexibility to create all kinds of new objects without having to actually program new functions. In-game panels such as the one on this vehicle's dashboard are easy to create and customize. You can use them by just bringing up the cursor with the tab key and then clicking on the elements directly. That's all I have for this video. Hope you like what I've created so far. There are a lot more features I have to show, and I'll cover those in future videos. Thanks for watching.